What's up guys, Russell back with MKO2 and I am here today to take you uh, on a tour of uh, my most recent uh, rendition of my setup. Uh, so I had uh, recently hinted at uh, this video so um, you probably would have seen this coming. If you didn't, you probably haven't seen my other video. In which case, shame on you. If you haven't seen it, that's okay. Uh, I'm going to put a link into that video uh, in the description below um, and possibly one of those speed troubles, maybe somewhere right here. Anyways, um, so yeah, so uh, I'm just going to get started and give you a brief overview here and then uh, I will take you through each of the uh, setup components afterwards and then pull up and give you, uh, give you guys a nice view of my tower and for uh, a couple of you guys who have been mentioning that uh, you haven't seen my graphics card yet, don't worry, I will pull that out for you and, see, and show you guys what that looks like uh, post paint production. Um, sorry it's taken so long, it's been a really busy uh, month or so. Um, so anyways, without further ado, I'm just going to take you through the uh, broad sweep. Um, so for the peripherals, I do have a, a Razer Black Widow Ultimate um, keyboard. Uh, it is the uh, 2014 edition. Um, it is not the Stealth, it's got the uh, Razer Green keys in it. Um, I have uh, a mouse um, that is from Perix, P-E-R-I-X-X, -X, I got on Amazon. I will post the link in the description below. Um, I got it for about 15 bucks with Amazon Prime shipping, so it shipped in two days, I think it was, um, right around Christmas time. Um, it's pretty great. Uh, as you can see, it uh, it cycles between uh, here. There's a button here. Uh, three colors: green, red, and blue, with the capability of turning it into um, like a like an unlimited color scheme. I guess the only LED that doesn't change color is this one up top. That's for your DPI. Um, so super handy. I actually really like it. Um, it does have adjustable weight in it as well. Um, I've opted to choose uh, three of yeah three of five weights. You can. Kind of see it there, I hope. Uh, three to five weights and that was uh, pretty perfect for me. Uh, so I do have monitors, one 22 inch monitor, one 23 inch monitor. Actually, I measured it. Um, so this is my uh, my main monitor. This is the 1080p monitor. Um, this is, uh, as I mentioned before, the BenQ GL2460. Um, I got this when I built the rest of the rig because this one here, uh, this is the Acer uh, x 223 223W, yeah, X223W. Um, I had this one before, uh, just as a second monitor for my laptop, um, but after I built my tower, I figured I might as well get a 1080p monitor anyways. Um, behind me, I do have some of my leisure reading material. Um, so some of my textbooks and notebooks. Um, oh, the uh, instruction manual that I never read, but I think you guys should read. I should also read, which I did read actually. Um, so yeah, and then uh, got my headphone stand, I uh, got a printer, a um, couple of Xbox controllers that I can hook up to the computer if I ever want to do that, um, and my surround sound system uh, with a 5 CD disc exchanger. And for those of you who don't know what a disc exchanger is, you're probably born in like 2001 or later, so I don't blame you. Um, but anyways, so uh, this powers my sound system, so it's got the center, got the uh, right, left, and then the two way at the back on the wall there. Um, so great for watching movies. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to take you out of this view and bring you in for a closer look at everything. All right, so on with the show again. This is the BenQ 2460 or GL 2460. Sorry, um, this is my Razer Black Widow Ultimate keyboard. Again, just the 2014 edition. Um, this is the mouse that I was talking about. Um, you can see. There's this button here to change the uh, RGB color. This is DPI down, DPI up, forward and back. Uh, and this is your DPI indicator. That's actually super handy, especially when you're, uh, for example, I use it uh, playing Battlefield all the time. You go from being an engineer or assault to recon. You really want to lower that sensitivity when you're recon to get that nice steady uh, shot there. All right, and this monitor here is not quite 1080p, but it is still, maybe it'll focus there, the X, 223W. Uh, it's actually serving pretty well. It does have a DVI in, so it's almost 1080, but not quite. Um, so yeah, and then there are my headphones. There's the X12 Ear Force and the Razer Kraken 7.1s, which I um, had previously compared. Um, some old Xbox game. Yes, I own an Xbox. Uh, if you guys want to see uh, any videos comparing my computer to the Xbox, then send a comment in the section below and let me know and I can do that for you guys. 
and then some of my textbooks for this year, and then again one of the speakers, the sound system, and my printer. And lo and behold, oh, what's that blue glowing thing? Oh, that's my tower! Alright, so I'm going to send you guys away just for a second, and then I'm going to bring that sucker up and uh, open her up for you guys. Alright, and uh, that's what she looks like when she is powered on. Um, so the uh, blue light that you can see through the window and through here. So this fan, you can actually see the four LEDs there. Um, but the blue light I actually bought off of eBay. It was like less than a dollar shipped to my door. Um, it's just like a, like an LED strip that I'll show you uh, in just a sec. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pop this side panel off. And show you the belly of the beast. Um, oh, Alright, well that fan just popped off. I'm going to do that anyways. Um, so yeah, so... I've got the uh, the Corsair H100i right up in there. Now, in just a minute, I'm just going to disconnect the LEDs because they make everything look funny. This is my graphics card here. And the power supply. Whoa, that makes it look purple or something. Hard drives and whatever. All right, so I'm just going to disconnect these LEDs and uh, take you for a system tour. All right, there we go. Finally got some, some proper lighting in here. All right, so there you can see my painted motherboard with the H100i mounted at the top of two fans in a push configuration, pushing air out of the case. Um, one exhaust fan at the back. The graphics card. My AX760 power supply. Um, another fan. My two uh, mass storage drives. More on those later. And my RAID drive here. So a couple of the differences that I'm going to outline um, from uh, when I first built this machine um, are as follows. Uh, so uh, these uh, cable sleeves, um, they weren't uh, part of the original builds here and here. Um, I should really have the system powered off, but I'm just going to be careful. Um, so those I added in after, they are from uh, BitPhoenix. Uh, I think uh, I got just got them from the local Canada computers. They were on clearance for like five bucks a piece, so I couldn't say no. Um, now up in the corner, actually, uh, there's a black one. You can't really tell. Maybe you can. Mm, possibly not. Um, so yeah, so that is a black one. Um, they just didn't have any more white, and I said, well, black works too. Um, the three Corsair fans. There's one here. Um, one here pulling air through the drives and then one um, intaking air from the bottom it's kind of covered by cables so I'm not sure exactly how much it's doing um, so, so those three Corsair fans were also added uh, just for more uh, airflow uh, the two NZXT fans that came with the case um, are now in the front of the case um, I haven't opened this up really and taken a look at it since I did the rearrange but it looks like I'm, I don't have enough positive pressure um, so I'll probably have to end up changing this fan around, uh, to increase that. Uh, there's just, there's a little bit much dust, um, in here. So I'm going to blow my system out, um, while, or right after, I guess, I finish this video. Um, so yeah, so the graphics card is something that I really want to show you guys. So just give me one second, I'll power down and pull that sucker out for you. All right, and there you have it. So this is what the, uh graphics card looks like um, again I did custom paint this um, there you can see the MSI logo I decided not to block that out um, because it just it would have ruined the overall uh, I guess look of the build in my mind um, so again it is a GTX 970 um, it's an MSI model Duh, you can see the fans uh, the OC edition um, a nice black PCB which goes wonderfully with my black PCB MSI Z97 Gaming 7. Uh, again, I'm rocking a 4690K. Um, that's an i5 uh, under the H100i. Um, yeah, so uh, acquired the new power supply, uh, the uh, cables or sleeved cables, sorry, the extensions, and a few new fans. Um, now, the thing with the hard drives, I said we'd come back to this later. Um, I actually ended up configuring those uh, in a RAID. Uh, a RAID array. Um, now for those of you who don't know what RAID is, um, drop me a comment in the section below and uh, I might be able to uh, explain it. Uh, let me see. Let, let's, uh, let's see if I can do this properly. Alright, I have, I have no idea what the view is like so I'm just gonna uh, point like this and uh, hope for the best I guess. 
Um, Alright, so uh, there is my setup. And there is the graphics card that you guys uh, wanted to see. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, the overall finish, uh, it, it's a matte finish. I'm not sure if you guys could tell. Uh, but it is a matte finish, so it's, it's really nice and clean. Um, so yeah, so overall, I am really, really happy with this build. Um, it's served me really, really well. Uh, lots of uh, possibilities for future upgradability. Um, for example, like I only have 16 gigs of 1866 uh, megahertz RAM, so I can add up to 16 more uh, for a total of 32. Um, I have one more drive bay that I might use for an SSD to run two SSDs in a RAID 0, um, or RAID 1, actually, um, because with a RAID 0, uh, there's going to be like a bandwidth limitation um your processor can only move so much and all the rest of it um so yeah so i'm sorry i'm kind of using my hand as a tripod right now it's probably pretty uh janky looking from what i can tell um my face is probably way too white so lighting is crap uh so yeah so i apologize for that part guys but yeah so this is my rig uh that's the rest of my setup uh if you guys uh like it you think it did okay then give me a thumbs up um if you th have any suggestions something that i can change then leave a comment in the section down below um, other than that, uh, keep in touch guys, uh, I do ha now have an Amazon affiliate code uh, to uh, help me out with uh, continuing the growth of this channel, um, so if you guys do any online shopping or anything like that, uh, then uh, if you could use my Amazon bookmark below, that does help me out a lot, so I can continue to do uh, the things that I really, really like, bring new hardware in, uh, do some more reviews, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I already told you about the video about the RAID 0 array. Uh, I am still working on that. There's a little bit of an issue uh, with the video and audio sync. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can fix that. But other than that, there's going to be a video that I think you guys are really going to like. Uh, I build a pretty decent computer for under 300 bucks. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, 